Hello, welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at Regiometers by Clover. Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ. So my my name is Bill Murphy. It's my pleasure to be solving this one for you today. Um, we are gas, uh, genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, we create, set, and solve our own genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person reading this. Um, we are like two months off having done this for like a whole year, which is insane. Um, Sorry, yeah, I just got carried away there for a second. Um, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Hat times are our indicator of how fast you're solving a puzzle. Uh, two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, that being said, I'm going to give this puzzle a go now. I'm going to walk you through the rules, but if you want to just stop listening or you know what's even better, if you just like mute it and then just ignore me, just let this video play, works wonders for us. Um, all right, uh, let's have a look at the puzzle. This is Regiometers. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, if you've never seen a Sudoku before, um, each box, each row, each column must contain the digits one to nine, one each. Now, uh, we have some gray lines in there. These are both region sum lines, and, uh, bleh, and thingy, uh, thermometers. Now, the, they do not have bulbs on them, but, you know, you can figure it. Uh, so, what does that mean? Now, digits increase from one end to the other. So, this might be one, two, one, three, three. I mean, I've already kind of accidentally revealed what this one is, but it might be one, four, six, eight, nine, right? Uh, but like this could be uh, three, six, nine, right? But it could also go the other way. Uh, three, wait, one, six, eight, as an example. We don't know which way it goes. That's up to you to figure out. Now, what we also know is that uh, it's a region sum line. So this gray line goes through multiple boxes and this half of the line in this box and this part of the line in this box add up to the same total. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all you need to know to solve the puzzle. Um, I'm going to give it a go now, so please uh, enjoy. Now, uh, we know that this is a thermometer where digits must increase going to the right. So between 7 and 9 is 8. Um, and now, 9 and 8 is 17, so 7 needs to, uh, means this needs to sum to 10. The only way we can do that is, uh, well, there's a couple of ways we can do that, but the only way that works is, I can't put a 2 here, this must be a 1, now this needs 5, and it can't be 1, 8, 2, 7, or 3, 6, so it must be 4, 5. The thermometer tells us which way this goes. This is now 2 and 6, uh, 3, 8, and 9. Up a bit. Uh, well, we also know that this can't be three, uh, which means that needs to be a three. Um, and now five and six. Cool. Um, let's go down here. Between six and eight is seven. Now, uh, I don't know, I know which way. This is. Um, 15. So this has to equal nine. Uh, it cannot be anything. It can't be. It can't be one, two, six. So it's either one and two, uh, three. Oh, that actually just has to be three. That's nice. That's four and five. Uh, two. Th the reason and how I've made that work is, uh, when you solve and set a lot of puzzles, you'll know that there are three combinations, nine in three digits. One, two, six. It can't be because six goes in this box. So it's either one, three, and five, or two, three, and four. Three must go in that. So, um. All right. Ah, oh, if one goes here, is this thermometer increases to the right, then the lowest that this can be is two, three, four, which means this has to equal 14, which puts a six here. That's really nice. Uh, six goes there. Let's go up here now. Um, what's the lowest this can be? This can be 16. Oh, actually, my eight over here tells me this has to be seven. Uh, so this is one, four, and five, and I seven. Yeah. Um, 
four. Can't go in this cell, so that's a four and a five. Uh, two, three, and six. Oh, three, five, going this way means that that must be eight. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh two, five, and nine. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm I'm just scanning, seeing if there's anything I can do. Uh, all right, let's do this the hard way. Uh, nine goes down there. Uh, uh, I need to place a two and a five. All right. Uh, three has to, ah three must go three. Three has to go there. Um, and now this has to increase that. That's okay. That's pretty cool. Three. Uh, oh, sorry. Let me explain my logic. Um. This has to increase from left to right because uh, if I put anything less than three here, it means that uh, this sum is already bigger than what will be in there. So uh, that means the lowest this can be is either one or two, but because I have a five in this column pointing down, this must be. So that's all. And then that unwinds this form, which is uh, this has to be a five and a nine. Uh, oh, points back up here. That's lovely. Uh, one, six. Uh, this is now two and eight, which I can do because I have it down here in eight. Um, four over here. Five nine. Uh, two seven five nine. Can I do anything with that? Uh, I can put the two there. Yes. Uh, this is one seven and eight. Oh, have I screwed this up? Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I've got that. That cell currently. All right, what have I done? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that's one to eight. This can't be an eight. This can't be a two. Get yeah, one. I didn't think I'd screwed up that badly. Um, okay, let's let's go back. I think I've just accidentally pressed. Something. I'm good. I'm I'm glad that I don't have to. Oh, why do I put a one? one? Mm, yeah, and now I can see something very useful. Where do I put one in this box? One can't go there. One can't go there because it's on the same. And you just need to send up. So that's a one. That's two. That's eight. That's one. I think I was just clumsy. Uh, seven and eight go here. So I know that that's it. That's seven. That's seven. Uh, this is nine. Uh, four. Uh, this is three and five. Um, this is two, means this has to be one and four. I mean, whew, this is not my best day. Um, I put one and four on a thermometer, knowing that they. Uh, eat, 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 three, uh, seven, six, nine, eight, seven, nine, five, six, nine, eight. That's all my variant logic done finally. Uh, but we are probably. Um, once again, it's an absolute banger from Clover. Um, so uh, this has been Regiometers by Clover. Uh, I'm still Bill Murphy. I hope wherever you are in the world, you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.